that's not my concern. My, my bigger concern is this. So you got 710 and they make this announcement yesterday. And if I'm being completely transparent, I was caught a little off guard because I hadn't seen the email that had come to me from ESPN saying, hey, we're about to do some new stuff. And we'd really love it if you had a, a, a photo that you could send us. And now it's 11 o'clock at night on Wednesday and I'm at a hospital in Newport Beach and I'm trying to find a, a picture on my phone to send these guys. So now I realize something's starting to happen here. And um, I hadn't talked to you guys too much about it yet. I hadn't talked to my parents. I hadn't talked to my kids. I mean, I literally hadn't talked to people about what was brewing. And if I'm being really super honest, we hadn't, everything was kind of my agent was dealing with stuff, but we hadn't signed anything. So I was surprised that there was an announcement coming. I mean, commitments are verbal and I'm, I would be all in. I wouldn't back out on those guys, but you usually don't do stuff like this until you have things kind of signed, sealed and delivered. So I was very flattered that they included me in all of their, you know, imaging stuff. You know, Keyshawn's like, yo, it's my morning show. And then, you know, Greeny and, you know, Max and, 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 you know, Mason Ireland go back to where they belong and, and Sedano in the afternoons with LZ and then our man Kaplan holding it down. And I was like, okay, cool. So, so all this stuff was starting to happen. And then it was like, well, is 1090 dead? Cause there's this guy who writes this blog about sports radio. His name's Jason Barrett. And he wrote this blog story yesterday about this new lineup on 710. And then he wrote this paragraph, like in the most peculiar move of them all is Kaplan going to 710. He's been the San Diego sports guy. And by the way, he was committed to, to 1090. What happens now? So you guys think I should talk about kind of the, the what happens now part of it? Is that what you think we should do? You do. Alex is giving me a thumbs up because he's holding his baby. Let me see that doggy. Put all three of us on the screen. Let me see that though. Alex is muted too, by the way. <laughs> I know it's like she's not making any noise, but she's so like shy and scared all the time, dude. So like, I put her in her crate and she sleeps, but as soon as she wakes up, it's over. I'm like screwed, and her naps are getting shorter and shorter, not longer and longer. So I need to figure something out before you what you're about to talk about. All right, put us all on screen then, because I would love everybody to just jump in because I'm rambling. But here it goes. <laughs> so, so the question was this: the question was. If you've signed with 710 to do 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night, what does that mean to the future of this podcast? People are asking me, what does this mean about Browner and Alex? What does all this mean? So here's here was kind of some soul searching that I had done. Um, I came to realize that I believe what we do here is actually special. I don't mean to sound corny, but we've gotten lucky. You know, we held on. 1090 went out. We went to Callaway. We built the studio here in my house. COVID happened. We've all hung on. 1090 went out of business in April of, of 2019. It's July of 2020. The world is a vastly different place and we've held on. I think it would be stupid to give up this podcast. And here's why. Because I signed a one-year deal with ESPN for this reason. If at the end of one year, they don't love me, and they don't realize that they can't live without me in a year. They're going to pay me in the meantime, it's get your foot in the door, which I'm happy to do. So I've made a one year commitment. As for 1090, the reality started to set in. We can't give up on this podcast. The podcasting is the future. Radio is fleeting. Podcasting is very much the future. So to be on 710, that helps this podcast. And then if we're going to produce the podcast every day, like we normally do, well, what Bill Hagen has said to me at, at 1090 is that's what we wanted. That's the difference of this show versus what was an old radio show. You guys can talk longer with fewer commercials, more candidly than ever before. And so all we at 1090 want is we want to air the podcast. And then it occurred to me. So I don't have to make a decision that it's 710 or 1090. Rather, it can be 710 and 1090. Because the people at ESPN were like, if you want to stay on 1090, go for it. We're hiring you in a part-time capacity to be our nighttime host. During basketball season, you might only be on once or twice a week. So I started to think to myself, why does it have to be either or? Why can't it be both? And the reason it couldn't be both is if we had to sit there and do a four-hour live radio show from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. 
And then I had to go do another three hour live radio show from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Could never do it. But we can take the podcast and add a distribution channel. We said all along, Browner, we didn't want to leave the podcast to go beyond the radio. We said we wanted to add radio as a distribution channel. So now the podcast, which airs every day at three on YouTube and Facebook and Spotify and Apple Podcasts, we're going to add a new distribution channel. And we're going to say we have more people listening than ever before because now the podcast is actually on the radio. Radio is a form of distribution for this podcast. So we may talk Padres. We may talk Dodgers. We may talk Lakers. We may talk Angels. Or maybe we're going to talk about black, white, Hispanic in America. Maybe we're going to talk about police brutality. Maybe we're going to talk about our favorite TV shows. Who the hell knows? We might the talk podcast, about Alex Swedden. Right. The, the, the bottom line is the podcast is remaining. The YouTube chat is remaining. The numbers are going to go up as the months go on because we're going to have this radio, sh this podcast broadcast on radio. That makes like all the sense in the world to me. It finally like occurred to me. We're trying to keep the podcast alive. If there's no 1090 and there's only 710, I would do 710 at night and I would do the podcast every single day. But the fact is we have a radio partner that says, give us your podcast content and put it on air. So I guess ultimately what I'm really trying to say to everybody is this. People are saying, well, you chose 710, you sold out 1090. You know what we're doing? We're going to be on the air every day on 1090. The same exact podcast we do here. You go get in your car and you want to listen on radio. You can. You prefer to listen on your phone. That's your business, <laughs> you know. But this podcast, which you can get on YouTube or Facebook or Spotify or Apple podcast or Google Play or any other podcast platform. I don't know of anybody else in the country that's doing it. We're taking a podcast and we're putting it on and we're distributing it on terrestrial radio. So people say, what about Alex? What about Browner? Here's the deal. They're both going to stay right here as part of the podcast. And in the spirit of transparency, even though 710 did not hire them yet, they're going to have roles on the 710 show because why would you not want to promote yourself in Los Angeles? And why would we not want to promote how talented these guys are so that people come to the podcast particularly when we're not on 710 because the Lakers are playing or LAFC is playing or the Angels are playing. So the last thing I'll say about it is this. I am going to go on 710. I'm going to do live radio broadcasting on 710. I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity, which is to be a broadcaster for ESPN in the Los Angeles market on the same station that has the Lakers, that has LAFC, uh, and, and has some Angels baseball. Um, has the Rams, I, I mean, should I, I should have mentioned the Rams. I got a lot of congratulations yesterday from people inside the Rams organization. You have those teams, those brands, ESPN, Lakers, Rams. You have those brands. You got to take this shot. These guys will both have a role on the show, no question about it. Um, but everything still remains the same here on the podcast. The thing is, when you get in your car, if you don't like plugging in your phone or you don't like using your data, or you don't like having your phone do one thing because you might need it for something else, you'll actually be able to hear this podcast on radio. And a friend of mine said to me yesterday, Jason Finley said, what the hell do I need a radio station to listen to your podcast? I can listen to it anytime I want to. I said, that's right. But when you're in the car and you like the radio, you'll be able to get this on radio as well. Another distribution platform. So I think I'm rambling. I think I've kind of said everything I need to say. Yes, we're going to take the podcast and we're going to air it on 1090. Yes, the podcast will exist five days a week under normal circumstances. And yes, I am going to go on 710. And yes, the men here are going to be part of that show as well. So and it's not about picking and choosing. It's not about loyal to the soil. It's not about hypocrisy and leaving the market. None of it. It's about adding to what we do to bring everybody here to what we've built.